dude. Mad humble, but man, I'm so proud of him, man. Shout out to my brother Jay Period in the building. What's going on? What's going on? Jay Period, exactly. What's happening, man? What's going on, man? It's good to be here, man. Back with my old Digiwax family. Oh, absolutely, man. Absolutely, man. Shout out to Jay. Uh, shout out to you for everything, man. And um, how you been, man? First of all, let's go to the to the essence of you. How you been, man? Man, um, it's been quite a year. Honestly, Hip Hop 50 has been crazy. I've got uh, to do shit I never could have imagined um, with, you know, artists that, you know, been heroes of mine for a long time. So, you know, I can't front. I'm, I'm doing pretty good right now. And we're just putting out the first single from my uh, album. So after many years of DJing and remixing, um, I got a record called Story to Tell. Um, it's kind of a musical storybook. Um, I got Dave Chappelle as the narrator of the storybook and Black Thought and Lynn manuel was on chapter one. And we just dropped a record called Hot Sauce uh, with Andrew Day and Aloe Black. Um, that's the first single from chapter two. So, yeah, man. First it's a of lot all, happening. Yeah, first of all, um, dope, you know, across the board. Um, the collabos. Uh, I want to sort of start before that, just the fact that you came up with, you know, a lot of us in terms of DJ, Brooklyn in the house, all of that <laughs> kind of stuff. But then um, went on to sort of create your own uh, uh, path, um, mm. the live mixtape and everything. And um, for those who haven't seen it, man, it's, it's, it's crazy. Um, how did that come about? Like, where did the concept, what, like, you know, what, what was the, that aha moment for you? <laughs> I mean, you know, the mixtapes, the kind of aha moment of the mixtapes was, um, you know, back at a listening session for Godson with Nas, where all these college radio DJs are interviewing him. And I had my recorder down and, and he was, you know, it was right after he, you know, he beat Jay with Ether. And he just was telling stories and I was recording these stories. I was like, you know, what would be ill is to make a mixtape out of his music and these stories. And that became the blueprint for, for a series of mixtapes I did that led me to a joint I did with The Roots in 2006 and I and met Black Thought and um, just had a kind of an instant bond with him. And so we did a live mixtape out at the Brooklyn Hip Hop Festival with Black Thought um, that kind of set the blueprint for for this version of a show where I could do what I did on the mixtapes live on stage. And, you know, he's the embodiment of every MC, so I could throw any beat at him, and it was incredible. And so that that kind of had, you know, became the building block for a thing that we've now turned into a whole other, you know, level uh, of show, you know, where, where we did this this year with, you know, Black Thought, Buster Rhymes, uh, um, Black, uh, Big Daddy Kane and Rakim at Lincoln Center, Queen Latifah, Remy Ma, uh, Moni Love at the Smithsonian, just like crazy platforms, um, you know, showcasing hip hop. And, and I think, you know, this mixtape format really is, you know, real hip hop. So it's it's dope that they're letting me do this kind of thing at that level. Yeah, no question, man. Um, shout out to NDOT. He said, one of my favorite parts of the picnic every year. So, um, you know. <laughs> Philly representative and DJ, so that's that's love. Yeah, well, you know, the thing about the picnic is that as, as a Philly representative would know, you know, every MC that shows up is getting on stage with Black Thought, so they, they have to bring their A game. So those mixtapes are incredible because people understand, anyone that he's inviting understands the level they need to bring it on. So, you know, even Buster Rhyme show went up a notch <laughs> with uh, with Black Thought there. So it was it was amazing this year. How did the um the A and R side of of everything come, um or you know that energy you know with these records, um some of these collabos you know incredible, um uh, Andrea you know obviously Aloe Black, um some of the others you know where where did that sort of come from? I mean honestly I I was fortunate you know I don't know if there's any DJs in this room that know about the playlist retreat and Jazzy Jeff um but I you know I was fortunate to get invited to the playlist retreat and just meet all these incredible artists you know Stro Elliott tall black guy you know DJ Khalil um and and started collaborating with them on music and then we kind of thought about that for the songs themselves just making interesting combinations artists you wouldn't expect to hear together uh that sounded good together and so this whole album 
concept formed around that. And I think it's been really dope. Um, you know, you would never get to hear Aloe and Andrew on a record or Cardinal Official and Josh Stone, you know, or Lynn manuel Miranda and Joel Ortiz. You know, it's like, but but it makes sense when you hear it. That's the, the dope part. Hell yeah. Um, I do want to play a little bit of music, you know what I mean? Just Please. to get everybody in the vibe. I see Swerve Please. ready to go in. I know Katz is in the chat talking. Um, it is Thanksgiving Eve. Why not? Let's let's play a joint, uh, J period style, and then we'll come right back. Word up. I'm from an island in the Caribbean. 3.4 million Thaino Indian children play in the sun, have fun and run silly and no shoes, chasing the Goki frog amphibian. How I wish that was real, but it's obviously different. $70 billion debt, the economy sits in. Much of my family back home is poverty stricken. And they think life here is hitting a lottery ticket. They don't know about police brutality whippings. They don't know my skin tone had me thrown in prison. They don't know gentrification as our neighborhood shifting and immigrants build buildings they can't afford to live in. Let's not talk about the Donald stuff. It's like a long Disney movie watching all the questions Donald does. But what trumps everything is hustle and vision. So my updated kitchen's a product of not having a pot to piss in. My new Car is synonymous to my driving ambition. Well, those ashes remind me I earned it and nothing was given. I give in for nothing. It's like I don't get enough of winning. Trying to be triumphant, bring the trumpets in it. <laughs> On dyke, and it's this music all your life, and it's a lot of demon, 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 demon,
That's all. I miss promo items, man. Like true promo items, you know. That's that's a dope one. Yeah. Uh, so you know, I don't know if you if you ever saw this one, but this is the the OG cassette that is actually the USB. I feel like you gave me one. You know what yeah. I mean? I feel like you gave me one. So for sure, for sure. Um, DJ Swerve, go ahead, my brother. All right, Swerve, you there? One, two, one, two. Okay, he ain't there. Um, yeah, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. What's up? What up? My bad, I was uh, I was doing a session, you know what I'm saying? What up, Eric? What's going, What's going on, on, man? You know, I seen you at the, uh, just a couple of days ago at the Wu-Tang joint. Oh, yes. And, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And you know what I'm saying? I definitely remember you from the, the mixtape days. You know what I mean? You know, next year I'll be celebrating, what was it, 30 years of me doing this. I saw it in my first joint around 94. Word up. Stuff like that. Was you, yeah, was you in the um the mixtape movie? Uh, I was in the mixtape movie. Um, yeah, I, th I, thought, I thought I remember. I was yeah, at the I, premiere, that premiere night. Oh, word. I haven't actually seen the final version. It took a while for it to come out, um, but I definitely was in there. Um, they interviewed me a few years ago for that, but I, it was funny because I was talking about the mixtape game. I was talking about selling tapes on Fulton Street and Canal Street when like when I started out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me, I was a teenager, so I had Fordham Road hitting up Harlem, a little bit of Queens and and and, and uh Brooklyn. And I didn't even know what I was doing. I was just doing it. Nobody coached me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying how to make tapes. Nobody uh I just was listening and I just followed the blueprint and you know was able to sell some joints. You know what I mean? And then from there came the party. So it was right a good on. journey, you know what I mean? But, you know, I'm glad to see you out here still doing it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hopefully in the future, you know, I do production as well. I was at an event with uh, Jay, Jay us uh, last night at uh, Dr. Lounge. So, you know, definitely, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be, you know, I'm going to see you out there. Word, hopefully you know I'll see you in New York. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in, I'm in Manhattan right now. I'm just I'm from doing this session, so I'm going to check you. Word up. Well, salute. Peace, peace. Word up. Um, so so real quick, the um the, the body of work like you've done over the years, uh, it has ranged uh obviously from Nas to Lauren Hill, which I think might have been your first one. Um, uh yeah, the Nas was the first one that really kind of started things for me. Okay. Uh do you have a favorite mixtape? So far? I got to ask this question because mm -hmm. they are very diverse, but it has your stamp on it. Do you have a favorite out of, out of all of the ones you produced? I mean, I think for me, the favorite is more in the story of how it came to be. I mean, I just saw someone pop up, said the Tribe joint was crazy. I mean, the, that one really to me, because Tribe was my favorite, but mm. the, the Lauren Hill one, the, the, the sort of, there's like a magic to how that happened. It, you know, it wasn't supposed to happen. There was no way to make that happen. It's just like things came together in this crazy way. And and so that one probably for me is just personally my favorite. And also because it's like I made a mixtape for this artist I appreciated not really having a relationship with her. And because of the mixtape, I developed a relationship with her that continues to this day. So it's like that's a powerful one. Um, I DJed her 40th birthday party. You know, like like we're still cool and that's off of you know the appreciation i showed her on that tape so man shout out to the power mixtapes <laughs> yeah your man said did she show up yo that's hilarious <laughs> uh yeah you know i it's but you know it's it's hard to be an artist that's all i can say oh, um being on the inside of that and understanding why that happens i i get why people get frustrated but i also understand to 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 perform on that level you know it's not always in your in your power, you know. You gotta wait for the spirits to hit you. So, you know, shout out, shout out to Miss Hill. You know, killing it right now uh, on tour. I saw her at uh, Barclays a couple weeks ago. Dope, dope. All right, let's talk about the current single, new mm -hmm. project. Um, you know, you mentioned it, Hot Sauce, um, Andrew Day, Aloe Black. Um, how did this record come together? <laughs> Um, well, honestly, this record started as a um, a fifteen hundred or nothing sample pack um, that Rance Dobson uh, gave me. It's him and J Mo uh, Jarius Mosey on the guitar, and I just heard this. It was like a '60s jazz sounding sample, 
And um, and Rance at the time, you know, really was putting me on game. And he was like, you know, if you sample my sample pack instead of a sample, then we're just co-songwriters. And I was like, Psh, you know, like mind blowing concept. So, you know, we became collaborators on that record by virtue of me chopping it and turning it into a beat. Then I bring Stro Elliott to play drums on it. Um, and then um, I go to DJ Khalil and um, Aloe Black uh, basically came through and um, Andra Day had, you know, had been doing some records with her and they had never been on a record together and they were both excited about the idea of working with each other. So we were like, let's do that. And um, and then Aloe, you know, he just he wrote the hell out of that that uh, song, like lyrically um, and, and Hot Sauce was born. Well, there it is. Um... <laughs> yeah. Let's let's get into this record. Uh, this is the current new single. You know what I mean? Uh, hot off the the press, as we like to say. Bong bong. Uh, hot sauce. So, all right, let's play it. Check it out. We got Jay Period in the building. Word. Ooh, wait, girl. I looked at you when you walked in this place, and I noticed you noticing me, and I thought to myself, you know what? If I was you. I would notice me too, cause I look good. Come on, let me let you get me a drink. Hot sauce, I put it on everything. No, no, I won't hold nothing back. You can ask me anything. I speak the truth, cross my fingers, hope you die. Swear it on my mama's Bible, I ain't telling you don't die. Hot sauce, you know I put that on everything. It up in a pile. I got diamonds and leathers and furs, and when the preferred is winning, smile. The chat on this is amazing. Like I haven't really got to play this for people, like for DJs yet. Um, you know, we had it, we played it for a room full of folks last week, but this is awesome. Honestly, it's it's really it's awesome because I've been working on this record for years. 
Dope stuff. Um, I know the head rush jobs. I, I gotta ask a quick question before they go. Um, aspirations for Broadway and TV, you know, mm. uh, is that in the future? Um, well, yeah. Um, there's there's uh there have been a couple conversations. Um, I got approached by one of the artists um that I made a, a best of mixtape about about turning that into a show. Um, which, you know, if they really let me do it, will, will be incredible. Um, so that's one. And then I, I also um, was very, very fortunate to get asked by Questlove to help him um, in working on the Grammys um, Hip Hop 50 um, show that's going to be coming out that was taped and, and airs in December. So um, that's exciting as well. Um, and, and um, you know, I think... The storytelling part of what I do, I've always thought lends itself to film and TV. I've done some movie soundtracks. I think this record, Hot Sauce, you know, I mean, yes, for sure. Um, but not not intentionally. You know, I just like music that tells a story. So, um, oh, snap. I see Red Man on there. Oh, yeah, there he is. <laughs> oh, Doc. Okay. Shout out to DJ Mel Star, the building. Oh, oh snap. Mel's here, too? Shout out to Mel Stars in the building. They ain't going front. Shout All out to right. Mel. Salute um, the homies. No doubt. All right, DJ Head Rush, uh, rock on real quick. And uh, then Jobs, you already know. Yo, yeah, peace, right. family. Peace, family. It's DJ Head Rush here. Uh, good job on the music, man. Uh, you're doing your thing. Uh, I like both your songs. Uh, Hot Sauce, I actually listened. I, when I was listening to that song, I listened to it from a musician standpoint not a DJ, and it was groovy, I ain't gonna lie, it was funky, you know? so um, you did your thing, I, uh, I have two questions, okay, did you, did, have you brainstormed about the video treatment for that song yet? Uh, we have talked about it, I think the problem is, you know, following CL's question, I see a whole movie, um, you yeah. know, I, I really can see a whole movie, like set in, you know, a 50s jazz club, so, and, you know, like I that. was thinking like Smooth Criminal, Woo! Like take a concept of smooth criminal and run with that. Just you, yeah, okay, yeah, I see it. Okay, so we on the same page. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah. Uh, did you have to go through Frank's hot sauce to get that? I put that on everything clear. The funny part is this record is older than that slogan. So oh yeah, <laughs> um, I mean that you know when I saw that I just was like oh man. But, you know, it was, you know, somebody in the back of a studio, you know, or who knows. But um, I'm not in the hot, so hot sauce business, though. So it's like it, it doesn't really matter. We did this with Scratch Bastard, who, you know, some of you may know, who has a um, Bastard's Barbecue and does these right. hot sauces. So we did this just as a promo piece. And then we're doing a bunch of events um, around that. But, yeah, I'm not I'm not worried about Frank's Red Hot. <laughs> OK, they should be worried sauce, about though. you, right? <laughs> I mean, listen, they want to put it in a commercial. Let's go, you know? There you go. There you go. That's it. That's the plug. I keep going, man. Keep doing your thing, bro. Appreciate Peace. it, man. Thank you. you got it? Jobs, go ahead, my brother. Yo, I promised myself I wasn't going to say anything to anybody because I've been wanting to interview Red Man for a decade. But that <laughs> song, so fucking perfect. Like, I'm, I'm so dead ass tomorrow. I'm going to have that on repeat. Eating turkey and drinking myself into a sloppy coma for the Word next up. day or so. Like that shit is just an absolute beautiful piece of craftsmanship. Thank, Thank you, man. I appreciate that. A lot of incredible artists, you know, came to help out on that, like I said. But um, yeah, I, I you know, I, I appreciate that. Salute. All right. Quantum. Yeah, what's up, man? Uh kind of a Two questions. Uh, I have one, and you mentioned something in your comments, so I got a second question. But the first one was more technical. You held up that blue vinyl, and I just wanted to know, just as a DJ, uh, do you feel that the colored vinyl is in terms of quality? Uh, is there a difference? Do you think in the quality of the colored vinyl versus uh, just regular? Um, I mean, not in my experience. Depending on you know the, the craftsman that is making the vinyl, um, you know the okay. guy that I had doing this is the real artisan. So you know he the the vinyl is top quality. Um, okay. But um, I mean, I, I think you can run into that for sure. Um, but that's more I think about how it's pressed um, than the color of the vinyl. 
Okay, yeah, because I had a couple DJs that was saying that to me recently, and I was like, man, I didn't, I never really knew if there was a difference or not. Um, the second question was, you mentioned the uh, Grammys uh, celebration. So this is going to be a specific show for, it's not going to be a segment like it was last year. This is going to be a show literally for the Hip Hop 54, I guess, the people that didn't make it. Is that correct? I mean, to be honest, I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to talk about it, you know. But gotcha. Okay. I, I can yeah, tell yeah, you yeah. that they did announce um, a long up. list of artists, and they did tell people when the taping was, and um, and that it is a, a, an extended version of what Questlove did, um, you know, in, in February, um, only, you know, let's say a little sprinkling of what, you know, how I might approach it. Um, and, you know, that's all I'll say at, at this point in time, but um, I think that it's it's gonna make some waves. And I think that there was a lot of appreciation and gratitude in the building. Um, one of the tasks that I had was to sort of find ways to incorporate as many people. You know, that's that's if as a DJ, you know, that's a you know, an editing job that that is, you know, extreme, you know, trying to find a way to include everybody. And so I think with that as the task, being able to include everybody, you know, it was an incredible thing. Um, just, you know, a lot of people that haven't gotten a showcase in that environment, getting a showcase and that, that made me proud just to be a part of it. So, you know, I'll say that. Yeah. I saw the pictures from it, man. So hopefully it turns out dope. And also I want to say this, you mentioned scratch bastard. He was just here in Houston about a week ago. There's a spot here called off the record. It just opened up like about a month ago. I hope to see you there because it is one of those places where like, if you are a true music person, like I don't get out. And I've been there probably seven times since it's been open on, on some late night shit, man. So if you hear about off the record in Houston, man, please come down. Or All if they right, reach out to you, please come down and do it. I mean, tell them to reach out. Let's go. No doubt. I got to come down to get one of those Trill Burgers anyway. <laughs> it, it's always open. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't really a cosign, but I'm saying I had a Trill Burger. <laughs> I liked it. It was good. I, I've been I've been waiting and I sent Bun B a, a bottle of the hot sauce and he said, I'm from the South, bro. You got something. So I was like, OK. What's up? What's up? Um, man, I get hungry every time I see that post, man. <laughs> um, nah, Jay, man. First again, man. Um, thanks for everything. Thanks for supporting DigiWax over the years, too. I got to tell you that because, you know, you was always like, yo, see, I got a joint. And we put it, yo, can you blast us for me? Let's go. Um, so I appreciate, you know also being a part of that journey um, and helping getting some of those records out for you, uh, the thousands of DJs around the world. And just proud of you overall, man, to see everything you come from, your successes now, and that you're still humble and cool. You know, your number ain't changed, so. <laughs> Word up, indeed. That, that's a real sign of somebody that's good because cats be changing their numbers. I'm like, all right. I didn't know. <laughs> if that's true, I never thought about it like that, but that's that's real talk. Shifty uh -uh. moving and shit and change my math. Mel know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Salute to Mel Starr, another amazing human being and incredible DJ. I, you know, hats off if I had one. Um, yeah, killing the game all year this year. Nah, no Appreciate doubt you, bro. Um, okay, last thing. Just uh in the in the chat, please put your um Instagram so everybody can follow you. Mm -hmm. um, song is on Digiwax right now. So if anybody needs that to play it, it's perfect. Obviously, we got the Thanksgiving coming. Play that shit, man, for the fam. Yeah, please, everybody. run it up. Yeah, like. man. And I do see it being a theatrical release. You know what I mean? Whether it's going to be... I think the, the, the real hip-hop plays are coming. I don't see why Broadway, you know, uh-oh, uh -oh, Redman got the fire. Oh, <laughs> um, I can see... Oh, shit, Red got the fire. Um, <laughs> I can see the, the real, the real hip-hop plays coming on, on Broadway. My nigga... You know what I'm saying? It, it's it's time. It is and time. Not to, 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 I'm not taking anything away from Hamilton because that was a set off. I'm just saying now the door's open. Let's go. I agree. Um, I got I got a blueprint for one already in the works. So fingers crossed. Get get Redman and uh and Mel in there somehow. You know, word up. It all out. But <laughs> um, Jay, my brother, thank you as always, man. Um, if you need anything, let us know. Uh. I'm sure Cass can want to text, text you or maybe talk to some. I'll try to hang on for just a second uh, so they can, um, you know, there'll probably be some drop requests, some other uh, interview requests.